Uh, my name is Tass Sergeant Yates. I am from the Kentucky Army National Guard. Uh, during this time, a lot of times between May and August time frame, uh, all the units go on AT. Uh, and I have a lot of calls. I am from the SASMO office uh, with Kentucky Army National Guard. And I have a lot of calls, uh, how to put a VSET together, uh, what to do on VSET. So I want to do a little class and instruction on how to put a VSET together. Uh, right now we have four boxes out here, and I want to introduce you to what the boxes are. You have the smallest one, which is the indoor unit. Uh, that will actually go inside and there will be a cable coming from it basically going into the pedestal which I will show you in just a minute uh, basically in order to get power basically to put the arm up to get the satellite on it and we will go through all that. The next box this is the pedestal that I was talking about basically there's an arm on it that will come up on it and then you will have a satellite dish. The satellite dish is this big box it comes in, in a, uh, like three or four different pieces you put it together and it goes on the arm uh, basically in this when we go to try to get the signal uh, basically for the VSET. This last box has all the cables and uh, basically uh, some of the, the items that you need uh, basically to get this VSET started. So with that said, i uh, got uh, Staff Sergeant Mitchell uh, that basically is uh, assisting me today uh, with putting these VSETs together. All right, so we're going to get straight into it. Uh, this indoor unit, we're going to bring it inside and this pedestal, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, start taking it uh, apart. Now keep this in mind, these little snaps on here, all you do is you basically turn, twist, and then put it up like that. All right, this is a look with basically taking the case off of the off of them. Uh, this is the pedestal that I was talking about. We took the case off. This is in the front, there's a place where you put the cable and it's actually gonna be ran. Whether you have a tent, whether it's inside, you're gonna run to the indoor unit, uh, which will we explain in a few minutes because we've got to run the, the cable in there and hook it up to uh, the power inside. You do have to have power basically for this to work. Uh, the other thing is the satellite dish itself. We took that off. They come in two pieces and they go like this and we will snap those on. Over here to the side, that's the case that, that it came with uh, basically and you have like an arm and some stuff that gets connected to that and we'll go over that basically when we come back out here. I just want to explain the cases and this is the cable that I am talking about that basically is going to be ran from inside uh, to out here uh, to basically the pedestal itself. Uh, the little black kit there, that's phones that go inside as well that basically hook up to the VSET where you can call VSET to VSET. This is the indoor unit that uh, I was talking about outside. There are two little cases that come off of the, the indoor unit. Uh, in this black pouch, they have the power supply and the track star. The track star is the remote control that is for this VSET, for the indoor unit itself. The cord that I was talking about that gets ran from the pedestal uh, to here on the indoor unit, this is this. All right, so you run it from the back of this, and then you run it out a window or anything that you can. But just keep in mind, safety is always first. So if you run it, it's going to be there for a long period of time. Make sure that you cover, cover the, the cable to ensure that no one trips over the, uh, the cable itself. All right, if you look in front, there's a laptop basically in, in this indoor unit. Uh, the laptop, <laughs> mainly what you use that laptop for is basically uh, there's an application on it that's called VSET. And that application basically can get you into the network. Today I'm not going to be going over that method. There are two methods. That is one method and then the track star is another method, which is a whole lot easier. But I wanted to make sure that you at least knew that that's what the indoor unit was about. If you turn this indoor unit around, you can see this is where your Cat5 cables would go. Basically if you were going to plug a computer in it, if you were going to plug a phone in it, there's VoIP phones that come with it where you can call. Uh, in that black case I was talking about where basically you can call VSET to VSET and that's where they would go. Uh, basically, when you open this up, there's a little cap on each one of them. And if you look at this big one, basically that's where that one goes. And there's little grooves in it that basically go in there and they'll match perfectly uh, with the grooves that's inside, uh, inside this. The smaller one, same thing. There's caps on this one and there's little grooves inside that matches perfectly. All right, so we've hooked one of them up. Uh, what I want to explain is <clears throat> for this cable that actually gets hooked up to the indoor unit itself, keep that in there until basically you take this out and you uh, plug this up to the, uh, the pedestal that's outside. If you didn't do that and you plugged it up, this cord would be round, wound up and it could potentially break. Once both of these are hooked up, and the pedestal one's hooked up, and we turn this uh, indoor unit on, which here's the on button uh, right here to the left-hand side, and this is plugged up. There's a little clear button that's on this adapter. You have to push that basically in order for it to, to come on. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up uh, on the indoor unit now. Uh, this is the, the remote control that I call it. It's called a track star, and it gets plugged in right here. If you look at these two switches, there's one that's for the antenna and one that's for the RF. 
for safety reasons, basically you want to keep that turned off basically when someone's going out there and basically putting the satellite dish on. For the antenna switch, you have to turn the antenna switch on in order to get power outside to the pedestal basically to deploy the arm. So in order to do that, so that way we can go outside and basically put up uh, the satellite disc, all you do is hit the plus key, hold it down until it says startup. And then right now, we're about to go outside and we're going to do the rest of the park outside. Okay, so now we're outside. You have the pedestal, the case that basically went over top of it. They actually have braces in there. We've already taken one off, uh, off this side. Now we're going to take this other one off. And what these are used for, uh, basically you put them on the pedestal itself, one on the front, one on the back, and that way you use these little screws that come down that basically, uh, where you can balance the, uh, the pedestal itself basically to balance out like on an uh, unlevel uh, uh, plane basically where you can get the, the pedestal basically on a flat surface. I'm going to pass this over to my coworker. All right, and all they do, they have like two little screws that basically you put in there and you just screw them in, and that's all you do. And then you balance out your pedestal. All right, this is a satellite dish I was talking about that goes on the pedestal. All right, I want to explain a couple of things. This box is right behind uh, uh, the satellite dish. This is where all these pieces came from, except for the big piece that came from the, the bottom uh, a portion of the satellite dish uh, box. When you get this out of the boxes, these little th arms basically get snapped on to this other arm. And on the back of this arm, there's just like a little pin that goes in it to hold it up. This is what they call the feet assembly. It actually goes on top of th this mount. All right, And there's two different ways that you can uh, move this. And you move this by undoing this. These and you can move it like this. All right, you have what they call vertical, and they also have horizontal polarization. All that really means is where you're hitting on the data satellite. For your V-set, just pull it straight out. It's already where it's supposed to be. And in this particular case, this is on a 125. All right, so it'd be sitting this way. These wires are blue. This blue one is what they call uh, the TX, which is a receive. And then you have the red, which is your power. So make sure that they are connected uh, all the way and not to break them or wiggle them, just basically put them on the, uh, as tight, uh, tight and, but not too tight. All right, so at that point, uh, we would move on to the pedestal and put this on top of the mount. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this on top of the, uh, the pedestal mount. There's a mount that's underneath the style like this. You just ma uh, match it with the other uh, this, uh, mount. And then there's two, uh, four screws that basically you screw in, uh, basically to make sure that it stays where it's at. Ready? Yes. Make sure that you don't grab these arms when you're grabbing them up because they could come off. All right. Go up a little bit. Yep. Okay. For the pedestal itself, it has a cable, all right, and the little arm that we put on there has a cable too. And all you do is basically match the grooves, put that on there, and then either uh, the excess cords, put them back in the little uh, case they have for it, for the cables. Okay, now we have the pedestal uh, completely uh, together, and at this point, we would go inside uh, to the indoor unit and finish up the process. Okay, so at this point, we're uh, inside at the indoor unit. We've got everything uh, connected and the pedestal is going to go. We need to turn the RF switch on so that way we can get signal. And then you've got to wait roughly about a minute or two minutes for lights to start uh, coming on. If you notice, they're already starting to blink. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the RX and the net basically to go to an amber co uh, color. All right, so we've got our amber lights on. All right, so if you look at the RX and the net, we've got amber. That's where it starts off because we're not in the network quite yet. All right, we've got to do the next step with the track star. All you do is hit the plus key again, hold it down until it starts up. And at this point, uh, it's looking around at the sky basically to get into the data satellite, the 125 I was talking about, because that's what makes the difference on whether you do it horizontal or, or uh, uh, your polarization or, or vertical. That, that's what makes the difference of which one you're hitting. For Kentucky, we have 123 and we have 125. All the V-sets are set up basically uh, based for where you, want, you need to uh, connect. For the pedestal, 
itself, basically this TrackStar, this remote control, basically can control pretty much everything out there except for the initial turn of the power on. There's a little switch out there that you have to turn the power on. At this point, it takes roughly about five, 10 minutes basically to get into the network. Uh, and then you basically can go out into the field, basically a field environment, have a generator, basically be able to hook up to uh, power and you can have an internet on the go. Okay, now that you've got your V-Set together, you've been out there for two, three, four days, whatever your operation uh, uh, is, is taking at this time, when you're ready to pack up, basically all you do, basically you go to your V-Set and you hit the minus key. Hold it down. Until basically it'll say stolen. When that happens, basically you're just waiting for that to finish and then you go out there and in reverse, take the satellite dish out basically take it apart, put it back into the box. All right, once that's done, then you would come back in here and hit the minus key again, basically to stow it all the way down. At that point, you can start taking everything apart and basically putting it back in the box. Keep in mind though, when you're doing that, you always want to hit the RF switch when you go in front of the satellite dish and turn that off to ensure that basically that you're not getting any signals uh, from, from the RF. All right, once everything's done and, and you're packing everything up, make sure your last thing you do is the antenna switch, turn it off. That way everything's in the off position all right, and then you're ready to uh, uh, put your four boxes up and head back home. Again, I want to say, my name is Stassar Yates. I had Stassar Mitchell base here to, to assist. This is from the Sassamore office and uh, the Kentucky Army National Guard. Feel free anytime that you'd like basically to contact me. Uh, I'm at greg.b.yates.mil at mail.mil uh, if you have any questions.